you say that a child's eligibility for transport will be assessed individually, but by not allowing anyone to drive and drop off their um, child, it's impossible for a lot of parents to um, walk to drop their children off. I'd love someone to tell me how I meant to do the following. Walk two children from my house to Honesdale School, which is one mile. Drop the youngest off. Walk the elders a further 1.8 miles to Woodhatch Place to drop them off. Walk another 1.5 miles back to Rygate Station to get an 806 train. Then have to leave work pretty much halfway through the day to have enough time to walk up to Honesdale to pick my youngest up. Walk 1.8 miles to Woodhatch to pick my eldest up and then walk both children two and a half miles home five days a week. It's not possible, and by saying the school is only another 0.8 miles, doesn't take into account the realities of people's day-to-days and assumes one parent from every family can spend two to two and a half hours a day walking their children to school. As you're aware, the school will produce a travel plan as I've already put in in the response, and my officer team are working with our highways transport department to produce safer routes. And also, the, the, the policy is, at present, that we do not encourage parking on the sites of schools, but we are working with our team to see what we can do. And the transport uh, assessment, again, will accompany the planning application. I do appreciate that, that people who live in Rygate have uh, buses and trains to catch up to London. Many people live here because it's a transport hub. And I do appreciate that. But there are other schools that you can put your children's names down for that may be closer. <laughs> there aren't. They're all oversubscribed, so I'd love you to be able to, to try and get a child into a school that's got one point, like four, four places for every one child. I'd love that, because we're all out of catchment. Okay. My officer would like to give a further response for you. Correct me if I've misheard it, but I think you said we're not allowed to drive? And on that basis, that is not the intention of the proposal. There is actively going to be survey data that shows where pick-up and drop-off can take place, which will be on street in surrounding roads. And the purpose is that if you do, we do accept that moving the proposal means that others may take to driving, but walking is not the only solution. So we we'll have 200 plus cars potentially dropping off for a school that's going to be huge in the surrounding streets. Thank you for your supplementary question, which myself and my officer have answered.